The first government performance review retreat for 2016-2017, which was centered around enhancing productivity for job creation, commenced with Professor Ezra Siruma making a presentation premised on convincing government officials not to concentrate all efforts on oil production. The former Minister of Finance instead advised that more attention should be focused on attaining an annual output of at least 20 million bags of coffee by the year 2025. And then when oil prices collapse, you become like Venezuela, you have nothing. I think if we plant our coffee trees, there will be a stabilizing source of income, despite whatever else we may be doing for many years to come. The question is whether we are taking keen interest to know whether the seedlings which are being provided are quality. So if there is no quality control at nursery level, then we may not hit the 2020 target with good coffee. That's my worry. Coffee is Uganda's main export, with a current annual production of 4 million bags bringing in about 500 million US dollars. This, according to Suruma, is far below the potential Uganda has for coffee production. Away from coffee production, Suruma said the health and education sectors had also performed poorly. But our concern was why a half of the pupils in P6, after six years of education, not able to read and write. It's true that many of these children who are not performing well at school, it's, it, it's, one of the reasons is that parents have refused stubbornly to provide a meal to these children. When Museveni was re-elected in 2016, he declared that the fifth term would be Akuna Muchezo, literally meaning a term of no jokes and no laxity. Now here at the office of the president, 31 cabinet ministers and 49 ministers of state were expected to have attended. However, few managed to do that, watering down the objective and the purpose of fighting corruption to enhance productivity. The seats reserved for cabinet ministers were visibly empty as the retreat proceeded and this drew criticism from some. In the morning when we came in the turn up was really um, embarrassing uh, but thank God it has uh, come up with time but the problem is uh, individual government officers. Meanwhile it was revealed that local government performance declined from 59 percent to 57 percent with the best performing districts being Namutumba, Buyikwe, Ibanda, Mokono and Impiji while the worst performers were Moyo, Agago, Bulisa, Bukoman Simbi and Kapchorwa. Andrew Adinitwe, NTV, Kampala.